our winner for best dual cab four wheel drive for drive car of the year 2022 is this, the Isuzu D-Max. Repeat winner it is too. A bit more than 12 months after its initial release, the Isuzu D-Max really still is quite impressive. Now, none of these dual cabs are perfect inside the cabin, but the D-Max is as good as any. It's well laid out, it's comfortable, good visibility, plenty of adjustment for the driver from the steering wheel and the seat, and the outward visibility is excellent whether you're on-road or off-road. I really like the switch gear. There's enough controls on the steering wheel without being too many. The infotainment system has a big screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, really easy controls to understand. And then of course the aircon controls below that. All in all, this is a functional cabin. And if you spend a lot of time in your vehicle, you're gonna find it useful. It's got clever storage, cup and bottle holders, extra cup holders up in the dash, which I think are really clever the way they're positioned. And it's a dual cab that you're not gonna hate spending long drives in. So I think it's really impressive that 12 months in, the shine hasn't really come off the D-Max too much. It's still right up at the top of the segment in just about every discipline. The D-Max is powered by a three litre engine with 140 kilowatts and 450 newton meters, paired to a six speed automatic or a six speed manual. For regular light duty off-roading, for towing, for driving on road, on dirt roads, on sealed roads, for spending five days a week in the vehicle and then going away on the weekend with the family, this Isuzu D-Max is fantastic. It's practical, it drives really well, it's comfortable on road and it's safe. I think that's really something that's noteworthy. It's a safe option for the family. But all in all, this does transition well from on road to regular off-road driving. Not the really, really tough stuff, but regular off-road driving like what we're doing now. It does it really easily. And I think the fact that the D-Max was as good when it was released as it was means that just over 12 months later, it's still impressing us in the way that it performs both on road and off. While all finalists have their strengths, in the end, the D-Max came out on top. It ticked the most boxes across the broadest range of criteria and should be applauded for democratising advanced safety features. And for 2022, it's a worthy winner. <laughs>